Howdy again, everybody. This is Doc with Thorofan, and of course, yesterday we got the really heartbreaking news that uh, Omaha Beach, the morning line favorite for the Kentucky Derby, has been scratched and declared from the race because of what was found to be an entrapped epiglottis. Uh, really unfortunate. Uh, you know, you feel horrible for the horse, feel horrible for the connections, especially uh, Mandela, who probably had one of his best chances ever uh, to win the Derby with a very, very talented horse. But I'm sure there's also a lot of people that are wondering exactly what an entrapped epiglottis is, why it affects the performance of the horse and how we go about treating them uh, and what the long-term ramifications are as far as return to racing goes. So we figured why not go ahead and explain all of that in another fun Thorofan education segment as we look at an entrapped epiglottis. All right, to understand the condition Omaha Beach has, let's look at a very simplistic view of the anatomy of the back of the throat of a horse. Horses are a little different than many other animals in that they can only breathe through their nose, not their mouth, like us, or dogs, or cats. Whenever a horse takes in a bite of food and goes to swallow it, the horse must make sure the food goes down the right pipe, so to speak, and into the esophagus, and not the trachea, or the windpipe, of the horse. To ensure this, a little triangle piece of tissue called the epiglottis flips up to cover the opening to the trachea when the horse swallows. You can see that here in this very simplistic, yet well-diagrammed video. Now, when the horse is just breathing, the epiglottis flaps back down and sits snugly against other tissues in the throat area, allowing air to pass freely into the trachea, again, as can be seen here. Using an endoscope, a camera on the end of a long, flexible tube, veterinarians can look into the throat area and observe all of these structures. In this picture, you see what a normal epiglottis looks like in its normal position when a horse is breathing. Note also the airy epiglottic folds. Don't worry about the name, just know they are small tissue type structures on either side of the trachea area. In the normal horse, the epiglottis flips up and down to do its normal job. When epiglottic entrapment occurs, the epiglottis sort of gets covered a bit by the aforementioned folds, as can be seen in this picture. While not a life-threatening condition, what it does do is prevent the epiglottis from returning to its completely normal position. It can also cause the airflow through the throat and into the trachea to be altered, usually decreasing it, and giving the horse the sensation that he or she can't catch their breath. Some have likened it to feeling like they are slightly choking. It doesn't happen at rest, but only when the horse is in a state of exercise, such as training or racing. Again, while not life-threatening, a horse who feels like they cannot breathe properly will not run as fast or as hard, and often a jockey can hear increased breathing noises or feel the horse just quit trying when it occurs in a race. On occasion, the simple act of swallowing can reset all of those throat structures into their normal position. But many times it is only a temporary thing, and further treatment is usually warranted. Fortunately for Omaha Beach, and any horse with this condition, the treatment is pretty straightforward and simple. With the horse mildly sedated, a special cutting tool or even laser is used to just slice that excess tissue trapping the epiglottis. It's a very quick procedure as can be seen in this video. Once done, the horse is given some medication to help healing, and usually in a few weeks can return to normal training and racing. So, hope that uh, kind of helped everybody understand a little bit about exactly what an entrapped epiglottis is and how we go about treating them, and also why in most cases, uh, horses can return to perfectly normal function to the same level that they were. It's not really a very detailed or, or problematic thing from a long-term standpoint, just the timing obviously with Omaha Beach was really, really horrible for his connection. So, the bad news is Omaha Beach is out. The good news is though, that does not affect Doc's dartboard super effect to play. Remember, 1, 11, 13, 16. 1, 11, 13, 16. That is uh, War of Will, High Call, Code of Honor, and Game Winner. So go ahead, punch that super effect to box if you are as daring as I am, but please don't write me letters if it doesn't come through. Hope everybody still enjoys a wonderful derby card, and we will be back as always on Thorofan with more fun educational segments. Enjoy the derby, folks!